This map is a detailed depiction of Texas shortly after the Civil War and was produced by Atlas publisher Joseph Hutchins Colton. It was based on an 1849 map by Jacob de Cordova, a New Orleans land promoter, which was the first to be drawn from general land office records. Topographical, political, and transportation information is accurately and geographically displayed. Counties, towns, rivers, roads, and proposed rail lines are clearly indicated. Most development in the state was limited to the east, with only four counties making up the entire western part. In that region, less information is shown, with rivers, some topography, a few settlements and roads, and an indication of the proposed routes for railroads. Of interest is a note in the northwest corner, including lands in New Mexico, which reads El Lano Estacado, or the Staked Plains elevated tableland without wood or water. Almost 20 forts are shown and other features include trading houses, springs and passes, included are insets of the Panhandle, Galveston Bay, and Sabine Lake. This map would have been state of the art for settlers moving to Texas after the Civil War.